I get my, uh, my first guest. Starting the Charlie's Angels movies and Kill Bill Volume 1 starting Friday. She can be seen co starring in the new film Lucky Number 11. Please welcome Lucy Liu. You look beautiful. Thanks. You yeah. look great, too. Thank you. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you do. Let's be honest. All eyes are on you now, as it should be. You look very... I love this dress, too, you're wearing. You've got a... The, the, uh, half of it's missing. John and I got into a fight backstage, and you ripped half he of ripped it off. He ripped it off, yeah. yeah. He's jealous, He yeah. wanted to be the first one up, but... I won out. Very nice. <laughs> I like that. I'm glad. You know, I want to I want to comment on one thing that yeah. I'm very happy about. Uh, you single-handedly have, I think, made freckles sexy, which I think is a very cool thing. I grew up with freckles, not sexy. <laughs> Every time I see you in a movie, you've got some freckles freckling right here, and it the looks freckling. Yeah, it's it a looks verb. it looks beautiful. We're though. both freckling right now. Yeah. Our, our freckles are flirting with one another. I think there was a swear in there somewhere. Uh... <laughs> I hope so. It's late night, for God's sakes. No, um, I, I, don't, I don't even think my freckles show up on... Uh, they put makeup on me so I'll even show up on television. I'm I so, barely see... I am, uh, people watch me on TV and, and think, God, that guy's pale. This is with nine inches of gray makeup. Just shellac. Just shellac, um, yeah. I don't see the freckles on you right now. Well, they're all over... You can see them on the arm. They're oh, all on they're the cute. arm. They're all over the leg right here. I see all that. Oh, they just keep going up. That's just... A giant one. That is just when, one when, giant freckle. When I was in the fourth grade, I, I used to. I swear to God, do you see this? Yeah, that's a giant freckle right there. I, I always used to tell girls, "You want to see the world's largest freckle?" I'm sure. That was my pickup line in the fourth grade. <laughs> I Barely ate alone. Worked. Yeah. <laughs> you ate very alone. Crying, wearing a retainer. Um, my mom wasn't crazy about my freckles. What do you mean? Well, she has freckles, but she wasn't crazy about my freckles. Um, she was like buying porcelana and trying to get fade cream. It wasn't happening. Really? Mm -hmm. I don't think that's right. I think they're they're great. Yeah, right, mom. Right. Let's create some kind of. Yeah, I don't. I think because you know the Asian mentality is like that really pure white skin. Right. Yeah. Right. So that that's what she she didn't want any anything she didn't want different any at all. Dots up there. Yeah. Right. Right. No well, punctuation. It's working well for you. Yeah, but I don't think... have freckles on my arms, just on my face. Now, I was going to ask you this, uh, you, because I've heard that you were in Japan recently, and I know that they, they consider, it's a real canon of beauty, the neck. The neck is considered very sexy That's right. in Japan, and they focus more on the neck. I mean, in the West, we focus on other areas. They focus on the neck. Is that... <laughs> yeah, the West, they focus on the cleavage. Right. Yeah, so this is their cleavage. That's considered, like, So they this... walk around with, like... No, actually, you when know, you go to a... A... When you go to a Hooters there, someone's got a giant neck. Yeah. <laughs> Where are your wings? It's because weird. it's like, because what's not shown, it, and when there's a little bit of skin, it's kind of, I think it's it's thought of as sexy. And and the, and the part of the wrists, when they have the kimono and they pull up their kimono to pour tea, right. it's considered kind of really See, sexy. I understand the neck. The wrist, I don't, I don't know what you do. To, I, I, the rest, I don't think of as like sexy. You, you know, know, like, ooh, you know, ooh. I don't. No, I, well, just because it's covered generally. Right. And like, like your arm, and if you kind of lift it. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> Thank you for humoring us, <laughs> but nothing about what I just did was remotely sexy. Uh, yeah, but the neck is, is considered sexy, and, and in, in America, it's just about the, the breasts. Yes, it is. <laughs> you don't see many Asian women with, like, giant breasts, so maybe they just said, you know what, this isn't going to work, let's just go with the neck. Go with the neck. Yeah, let's just go with the neck. Every culture is different, yeah. and I respect all cultures. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to say that. So open of you. Yeah, you know me. Uh, <laughs> Now, uh, you know, one thing I read, and this doesn't sound like you, because okay. uh, you, you know, you've been on the show uh, many times, mm -hmm. and I, I feel like I know you. When you were shooting this movie, Lucky Number 11 in Montreal, apparently you were partying so intensely one night that the police had to come. And that is not the Lucy Lou that I know. Is this a, was this a false rumor, or did it really happen? Okay. <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> so <laughs> this obviously means, yes, it happened. Let me just preface it with this. I never went out. Like, when I work, I don't go out because we have early calls. And mm -hmm. so Josh always goes out. And, like, Josh Hartnett, yeah, your Josh Hartnett, who's amazing. He likes to unwind and go out after work and, mm -hmm. and, you know, have drinks or hang out with friends. And so he'd asked me so many times to go out with everyone in the crew. And finally, he's like, just come out, just come out. And I went out for about 15 minutes. I said, okay, I'm just going to come out for 20 minutes, no big deal. And we ended up staying out all night, and we closed the place down. And it was, you know, we were working kind of 
odd hours. So we had our, our weekend was like a Monday, Tuesday. Right. And so we had the DJ going and, and the police came and they shut us down. Now, wh what were you doing that the police had to come? Was it just the music slide or are you like hanging from a chandelier? Sure, <laughs> swinging like a monkey. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> The Mounties shut it down. on their horses yeah. came into the club. <laughs> You're gonna keep it down. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining we, right now. <laughs> well, we were dancing. We we're dancing on the tables. I was doing the splits. Josh oh, was like wow. doing full on, like yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Can so you, you were like backflips and can I do splits? No, no, I cannot do splits. Yeah. Well, a we, eight we, people in here would be killed if I tried to do it. <laughs> <laughs> My le legs would be flying every which no way. My for you. torso would fall <laughs> off. Yeah, I'd be impotent when it was over. It's, it's a bad idea all around. I'm, I'm the least it's limber immediate castration. person. Yeah. Um, I, well, I don't know. I just like we started dancing and then I was, oh, you know, I was on the floor doing splits. Right. I just st you know started uh, being able to do splits like two years ago. That's that's pretty yeah, cool. Usually you have to start at a young age, but from Pilates. Yeah, wow. I don't know. Suddenly I was able to do it. I don't even know what Pilates is. I, I people are always saying, "Oh yeah, I do Pilates," and I I'm like, Pilates. "Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, me too." I don't even know what Pilates is. <laughs> I know there are counterweights involved, and it's very erotic, but that's all I know. It's well, it's done on this bed that looks, you know, yeah. it, it looks like it's like some sort of chamber. And are it's you got sure like... this is Pilates you're doing? <laughs> they said it was Pilates. They said it was Pilates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, I'm sure, yeah. <laughs> well, you enjoy those Pilates. I'm calling the police. Uh, we have a clip here. I want to make sure we get to this for Lucky Number Slevin. And uh, this, I really enjoyed this movie, oh, by the way. Song. Yeah, yeah, very, uh, and it's hard to describe it because it's a very funny movie and it's got lots of action elements, mystery elements, but uh, very clever. Oh, good. Yeah. It's, and it's, um... I mean, I love the movie, but you know, it's it's hopefully people will go and see it and, and get it. It's it's not something you sit back and sort of let it on. You know, you have to let it unfold. It's, right. it's not just you know A B equals C. That's right. Sort of thing. Right. That old movie. That uh, old <laughs> A plus B. Uh, the we sequel. Ha we have a clip here. What do we need to know for the clip? Um, uh, this is a clip where I. I, I play Josh's neighbor, who, who's Slevin, mm -hmm. and I think I figured out, you know, what's going on with him. He's caught in a bad situation, and she's been coming in and out of his apartment um, and trying to help him. And so she's figured something out, and she's coming in to tell him. Let's take Plus, a look she's this. got a little crush on him. Oh, yes. Let's take a look, look, look this clip from Lucky Number Slevin. There's a nice chemistry, too. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Hot nuts! Uh, Lucky number Slevin uh, opens uh, Friday. Check it out. Lucy Lou, thank you so much oh, for being so here. We love it when you're on the show. John Lovitz is coming up. Take a break. We'll be right back.